Right, having taken the mirror out of its mirror cell, it's now time to actually start doing the washing itself. And we do that with a nice, clean plastic container. And it's important that we have a plastic container to make sure that no damage can occur to the actual mirror surface itself. So we start off by filling this with some tepid water. Absolutely fine. We then put a couple of drops of a good quality washing up liquid into the water. A little bit of a shake around. We don't need an awful lot in here, it's just to help loosen some of the, the worst bits on the mirror. Carefully raise the mirror up and lower it very gently into the water. And now we can just leave that to soak for five minutes. Right, that's the five minute soak completed. We now carefully remove the mirror. Be very careful not to touch any of the surfaces. Pour away the water, and then very gently rinse the mirror under the tap. A mixture of hot and cold. That do absolutely nicely. Obviously be very, very careful not to risk damaging the mirror's surface. Away from the sink, just place it at an angle to dry. Now wash out this container and then refill it with tepid water. The temperature isn't really that important, but tepid rather than the hot is what you should be aiming for. That's fine. I'm now going to put some more of the washing up liquid in. Two or three drops is, again, more than adequate. With that a little bit of a shake up. Carefully get the mirror, which I have to say is already looking much nicer than it was when I first put it in. Very carefully put that back into the container. And I'm now going to get hold of my very first piece of cotton wool. I soak that in the solution and I very, very gently drag it across the mirror under its own weight. Throw that piece away. I then grab another piece, slowly drag that across the mirror, again purely under its own weight, and throw that away. And you just keep on doing that until you've covered the whole of the mirror's surface. And of course by letting it go under its own weight you're not putting any pressure on the glass at all because the last thing you want to do is to scratch this surface. So take great care with every single wipe that you do. That's it, and then the last wipe coming up. And that's the whole of the mirror surface carefully wiped. We can now rinse this thoroughly underneath the tap again using ordinary tap water. Once we've given it a good rinse, put it back on the drainer. Throw this water away. Wash out our container thoroughly. Because we're now going to do the final rinse, but we're not going to be using ordinary tap water for this final rinse. We want to use distilled water so that we don't leave any residues. Ordinary tap water has various materials in, in, in it, things like calcium and so on. We want to make sure that we don't get any calcium deposits on our mirror when we're finished. So the final stage is to take the mirror yet again, put it in our container, and then thoroughly rinse it with distilled water. Now distilled water of course doesn't have any dissolved solids in it. 
So this is a good way of guaranteeing that the mirror surface is as clean as possible and that when the water dries on it, it's not going to have the effect of leaving any deposits at all. Now carefully lift the mirror out for the final time and then place it in the drainer on the towel at a nice steep angle so that the water can start to run off and if you get any really stubborn bits then you can use the corner of a kitchen towel just to dab them away. And that's it, one clean mirror.